channel i hope everyone is doing well as you guys could probably tell we're back at the office so in this video i'm going to show you guys how we change out our light bulbs you might be like why you need a video on how to change out the light bulbs so guys in the center of the light bulb there's something called a ballast so the ballast basically help for you to turn the light on it works together so we're going to bypass the ballast and we're going to show you how to do that so we're going to remove the ballast and then we're going to rewire the wires up there and then we're going to use led lights and the led lights will last for years to come and it's going to save so much money and electricity as well so yeah i'm so excited to show you guys this trick well chris is gonna show you guys this trick so anyways if you want to know how to bypass the lights <laughs> bypass the ballast and add led lights then this video is for you keep watching all right guys before we start our instructions this is extremely important you have to get you don't have to get this brand but these are the lights that you need to bypass the ballast okay so screenshot this write it down whatever the case may be but this is what you would need this is just how long the tubes are but everything else is important as far as like getting the right led lights why do i say led lights led light all right chris what are we doing today we are going to do a ballast delete a ballast delete what's the ballast delete well a ballast charges these light bulbs here the ones that aren't working very well and it uses extra electricity to turn these lights on actually i have gas in them so where is the ballast, the ballast actually where is the ballast exactly the ballast is inside of here we will need wire strippers a quarter inch nut driver and that's about it cool oh, and wire nuts okay now first of all we're gonna have to open these little clips right here on the side there's some little clips on both sides and it just swings down like that and do you have to have the power second off? Second of all, we have to turn the power off. Will you turn the power off, Patricia? Yes. Next, we want to twist these light bulbs a quarter turn and pull them down to remove them. This is a little tricky sometimes because these light bulbs are such a pain in the butt to get in and out. You don't want to break these things, they're really nasty. You like it? Just turn it and pull them down. And the new lights we're putting in are actually made out of plastic, so there's no chance of breaking them and getting hurt later on in the future. And these are made out of glass? Absolutely. And they have poisonous gas on the inside. So they're very nasty if you break them. Okay. Patricia, you asked where the ballast was, it's underneath here. And to get this off, you just squeeze both sides together and pull it down. And you just pull it out the same way as the light bulb. Now this is the tricky part, but it's actually very easy. We're going to take our wire strippers, and we're going to cut the wires right here at the ballast. All the ballasts, we're going to cut all the wires as close as we can to the ballast. Cutting out of the way, we're gonna just take our nut driver. Don't screw this little nut up here. Holding these things up, just pull these on down like so. Now the balance is removed. Now we want to take these wires and just straighten them all out. So we can see what we got here. And we want to cut them off even. So they're all the same length. 
We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to undo the main power wires. Take these wire nuts off. How you know which one is the main power? The main one's coming in. The black and the white one coming from the top of this. And there's a ground wire here too. This ground wire has to be hooked up. That's the main power. The neutral and a hot. Okay. And then you got the ground. It's grounded well, so we don't need to worry about that. We're just going to straighten these wires out. And then we're going to just take and cut these wires off where we can connect it to the black over here. So we want to cut enough so we can connect it to there. All the wires are going to be connected to that black on that side. So it's very simple. All the wires on this side, we're going to connect together to the black. All the wires on the opposite side, we're going to connect together to the white. It's very simple. You know, save you a lot of money on electricity and on light bulbs because these light bulbs last way longer. So we're just going to strip all these little wires right here. pretty much going to repeat ourselves as what we get to the other side. The only difference is we're going to make a jumper wire to jump all these wires over there to that power wire. Okay. It's very simple. Now we're just going to take this jumper wire here and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to strip it back on both ends. And can I just get a close up of the strip? Mm -hmm. We just, just expose the wire. That's that is a strip wire. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir, for that. Now this is so easy that you don't need to hire an electrician to do this. They'll charge you probably $150, $200 a light, and it's so simple. You can do it yourself. You just take, do the same thing. You just take all these little wires right here, and you line them up together. And then we're gonna grab our pliers, and we're just gonna twist all the ends together, these wires, just to make sure they're together very tight, or we don't want them to come loose later. Just twist them a little bit, twist them all together. And make sure they're all cut off of the same probably better so the wire cap catches them a little better and we're just going to twist all these together the same way until that wire nut gets nice and tight and you'll get to the point you can't twist it no more and just make sure there's no exposed wires sticking out of the end now we just want to take this right here and fold it over just like that and we're going to come to this end and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this wire nut and we're going to take this jumper wire for all those and we're going to just going to take it and wind it together right here just like that so that one gets tight. And then we want to take all these wires and just kind of push them up in there in the center of this thing because we don't want them pinched. You can even fold them in half to make them a little tighter. 
This makes it a little easier. We don't want any pinched wires in which we a piece of metal we're about to put back up here. So we want to make sure the wires are in the center of this thing. We don't want anything wires sticking out. So basically that long yellow piece is connected to the white, right? Mm-hmm. And all the other ones is connected to the black. Correct. Got all the ones from this side going to power wire. And all the ones from this side going to the neutral wire. Okay. Now we're just going to take this thing right here, stick it back to the middle. Make sure all your wires are in the middle of this. Like I said, we don't want any pinch wires. Get a pinch wire and get hot and maybe start a fire later. So we make sure all our wires are in there. And then we just squeeze this thing like that. The same way we took it out. Now we're ready to install the light bulbs. Okay. The light bulbs are right here. They're nice and clear and they're plastic. And they're plastic. They're not cheap, but <laughs> they're plastic. How much was it? Two hundred dollars for forty lights. So. Well, you can get them at your local hardware store. Where you're gonna buy, pay a little more, buy them separately. You'd probably pay fifteen dollars a light bulb. Now to get these up there, we're just gonna take, and do it the same way we took it out. We're gonna make sure these little prongs right here. Just pointed out the little prongs on the end of the light bulb you need to go into these tombstones. So we're gonna line them up and down, put the light bulb first at an angle. And we're just gonna slide it over and line it up with the tombstone. We're gonna push that side in. Sometimes it's a little sticky. We're just gonna stick it into the tombstone. We're gonna give it a quarter turn, the same way we took them out. But we gotta make sure it's all the way in, that one goes all the way in. And make sure the LEDs are facing down. Okay. And we're going to do the repeat the process until all the lights are installed. Can you hand me those other lights, Patricia? Yes. this cover we're going to close it and these are usually have little plastic covers in them which put your in the new one, so we don't want to put the old ones back in we're going to just wait for the new ones to come in and, and that's it we just turn the power on and make sure everything works nicely and the lights are on So we have four in, but we actually use two per panel. And I'm going to show you guys yeah. what the lights look like now. They look so nice. It looks just nice and bright. But when we put the covers in, the light will kind of spread out. Right now, the lights are not spread out because there's no covers in. You can see like the lines on the walls. That's because there's no covers in, but the shadows. yeah, the shadows and the lines, but yeah, but it's nice and bright in here and I really love it. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for some keep so bright that we only Don't need ever let nobody be the reason. Her area. You throw it out, you stop caring about. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something today. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if you're doing it on purpose or not. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something today. You're still making noise. Can't be the 
Some